Well, I thought I may as well cobble a video together. Um, if you remember from my uh, battery videos, um, this M meter we've been pegging at uh, the end of the scale, about 60 amps, quite a lot of times. Um, I'm gonna put another meter in here, and I've found one of my other CTs because the other meter is a one amp meter. So this is uh, a big CT, KV CT, but it's uh, I think it's. 200, 400 to 1 ampere, so it will put out 1 ampere, so we need to put a certain amount of turns on there to get the currents matched and calibrated. As for this amp meter, that's a 200 to 5 ampere CT. What I've done here is I put 5 turns on there, so it basically makes it a 40 to 5 ampere CT. And this particular meter uh, scale was 400 to 5, so when it shows 40 ampere on the meter, there's 5 ampere coming out of that CT. So the way it's set up at the moment. So to test this meter, it's, I think it's a 1 amp meter. Um, I wired it up to a uh, normal plug lead. Active comes in, goes through the probe into the multimeter, out of the multimeter, to a 200 watt globe, out of the lamp connector in the ammeter and we turn path out of the ammeter. So we're going to energize this in 230 volts, 240 volts, probably about 0 0.8, 0 0.9 ampere. I couldn't find any markings on this meter but it says 1.5 and I will look at this meter, it's a 450 ampere. So I think my memory this meter is uh, 300 to 1 ampere. But we're going to pull it shortly. Energize device. It does help put the uh, meter onto the amp setting. So, let's set about 240, 220, 46, about 260. And the meter is reading 0 0.86 ampere. So, 300 should be 1 ampere. The energized device. An important tip I give you here, guys and girls who are watching this: if you use a multimeter or amp range, first thing, as soon as you finish with it, put it back in the volt range. Avoid you blowing up the meter. I admit I've done it. I've left it on amps and plugged it in, do a voltage check, and boom, meter gone, or an expensive uh, fuse. Meter is overreading a little bit, it's 40 ampere on this meter and my multimeter, although it's not super accurate, it's 34 ampere. So. Around a bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. So that meter sits now at 40 ampere, while this meter here sits at about 350. So I'm gonna Reduce the amount of turns I put on this uh, current transformer, which I... It's a 1 amp current transformer which I matched up with this meter. Um, I just, as a trial and error, I put 15 turns on there on tap 2. So, I'm going to reduce turns and my plan is, when this meter here reads 40 ampere, it's dropped down a bit because these thin wires are running warm, that meter will reach around the 200 mark which is uh, gonna re renumber to 40 ampere so that'll be 40 ampere so 20 40 60 80 90 ampere so if the analog ammeter banks out at the end um, this meter has some more scale deflection so i'm going to take some turns off and uh, stay with me and uh, we'll see how it's going to work the energy is So, I'm going to unclip these Wago connectors. And I've got made 15 turns on the, I think it might be, oh it's pretty warm, the two on the tip. So, let me look at my chair. Bloody hell. Take some turns off, so I need to get a screwdriver and disconnect 
the so-called primary coil. This I know this is 2.5 volt. It will take up to about that will take up to 100 amps. Get pretty hot. Melts at 150. So, but I'm just uh, can't be bothered using the gauge of the wire, so it does the job anyway. So I'm going to take a few turns off this thing here. Um, I'll take this side off. I'll take another five or six turns off this thing. We're dealing with an AC device here, so for the ammeter, that polarity doesn't really matter in this situation. Um, so there's that one. And the other end, where the hell is that going to? I'm going to stick it back in there. Microwave transformator. Yeah, put the ammeter back on. These new Wagos are not as good because I already one of these clips break off. They're not as good as the old Wagos, but um, for now it has to do with these because uh, I haven't got many of the other ones. Yeah, well, I'll put this meter device back on here. I hope I'm not going to drop this bloody thing. It's a bit awkward to do it behind the camera, which is sit on a tripod and then fiddle one with this. So I'll click that one in. And that other wire goes into this one here, and hopefully the meter will read a lot lower. So I'm going to energize this device again. At least it's all running in one go. And change any settings on the variac. So I think there's a bit of a pop back on the. It's a lot lower. Need to take more turns off the thing. You see the current has picked up because uh, there's less turns on the primary, so that's sitting at 40. This is here about 240 ampere, so I need to probably take another three turns off. I've got a body with all the details, I'll take a few more turns off and I'll turn it back on shortly. Ciao. So I've taken a few more turns off, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven turns. I'll put the meter back on and I'll give another test and see how that's going to work. Okay, energized device. It's reading a little bit. That should, and the onsets are 40. So I need to take one more turn extra. Put an extra turn back on. So I added an extra turn, and as you see, this meter reads 200 ampere, while my small meter there reads 40 ampere. So these meters can easily be repurposed now. So on this meter, 300 equals 40 ampere. So I'm going to relabel the device now and then put it all together. And then we can do this for another battery test. I'm going to add on like old current transformers, um, same as voltage transformers, uh, but adding or removing turns you can increase decrease the current output or voltage output on a voltage transformer so yeah you can modify uh, ratios uh, whatever you have your hands on well I've been good I've we uh, wound that call this eight turns of 10 mil I had small 10 mil blue and I'm gonna energize and uh, I did a pre-check and it seems to look pretty good so my top ammeter is showing 40, that was showing 200, the bottom one. So that should be 40 on that scale. So I'm going to re-stamp the numbers on that and uh, I have some numbers here I made ages ago, so hopefully I can use those. I've run up some numbers here and uh, I wanted them a bit bigger, so size 36. Uh, Century Gothic school book that gives uh, quite a nice uh, contrast on these uh, numbers. I'm waiting for the glue and then uh, take the dull plate off and put them in the meter. 
just in the process of uh, cutting the numbers and putting them into place. So the meter is completed and it will be for an, a future battery uh, discharge or overcharge test.